Hey, good morning, everybody. Are we up and running? I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, this is Rick with Hit Run Candlesticks, just hosting a live trading alerts webinar where we talk about live trading alerts. We can talk about charts. We can talk about trades. Um, we can even talk about cheeseburgers if you want to. Uh, pizza, my favorite food. If you want to talk about that, we can. Hi, hi, Carly. How are you? Um, today is uh, July 10th, Monday, 2023. I'm going to welcome everybody here. Um, whether or not you're a member of any of our services or live trading alerts, um, or you're just a freelance trader and uh, you pick this webinar up, webinar up on our social media or uh, an email. I want to thank you for being here. Um, please ask questions. This is, you know, I don't want to make this all about, you know, one thing. So, it, it, I mean, it, we can take in a lot of stuff. For instance, uh, if somebody's struggling with a trade, we can certainly talk about that. If somebody wants to show off a trade that's uh, that's working for you you can certainly do that we can take take a look at that um, you name it you name it so um, I'm just going to kick this off well I want to start off with a little bit of, of market on what I see going on here anyway um, here's the daily chart I know it looks kind of boogered up there a lot of lines in there uh, but as long as we stay below the T line and we're still looking at this gap down over here. And neither one of these candles so far is showing any any great, you know, bullishness out there. I have to be looking at maybe some short stuff. In fact, just a little while ago, I took a spy uh, put. I posted that uh, to the members in the members room and the app. Uh, the spy put I took. Here's the three bar chart. This is what. Um, how we ended Friday, the last bar of the day, right here. And um, it's just not looking great for the bulls at the moment. So we want to be a little cautious. Now, if we go back to the daily chart here, I don't think we have completely failed. I think the bulls still have a chance. The trend indicator is still green. Uh, we're not going anywhere bullishly with price, nor are we really going anywhere bearishly. So really what this tells me is we're just in a sideways choppy mode. Uh, if we come over to this chart, uh, we take the highs, the recent highs, and the recent low here uh, a couple days ago. This this whole area below 430, 443.75 and 436.75. This is just going to be uh, noise, chop, tough to trade. Uh, the market needs to break out one way <clears throat> or the other, break out to the bullish side or break down to the bear side. Either way would be fine with me. Uh, but while we move sideways, it's very difficult to trade. For a lot of traders, not, not difficult for some, <clears throat> excuse me, not difficult for some traders, but can be very difficult for other traders. So you just have to recognize when we're in one of these places like that, and maybe that's a time to ease up on your trading. Does that make sense to anybody? Anybody here think I'm just full of caca, and and um, we can go forward from there? <laughs> just want to make sure we've got ears out there. Anybody listening? So far, no. There we go. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So um, here's a trade that I'm in, SQ. Uh, you know, SQ is working out pretty good. Uh, we bought this a few days ago. In fact, I did a YouTube video on this saying that I was going to buy it. Um and I did exactly what I said I was going to do. And uh, it, it's working out pretty good. It still looks like a great trade to me. Uh, here's what I'm looking for uh, in a trade is a trend. 
And, uh, you know, a trend doesn't have to be this long. A trend can start off pretty pretty short term. But this one, this particular chart, we're, we're in a nice little trend here. And, you know, we've broken out, we've tested, and now we're trying to break out again. Uh, if we kick this over to a weekly chart, um, man, you can just see how that thing is starting to come alive. And then if we put a line up here at those tops, um, I'll, I would have to put mine about right here. 81.55 as a target. Um, there's a whole lot of stop and go along the way. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm going to hold to that. That's not going to happen a million years from me. Um, too much stopping and going. I'll take some profits along the way. There's plenty of places to take profits along the way. And, you know, if I'm, if I say a chart like this, I'm already in it, so it's all good for me. But if I was looking to buy this chart, um, one thing I would look for is this right here is this. Um, anywhere from this top and you know I really let me change that I'm gonna go up here to a, a little bit of a breakout so above those candles and then I'm just gonna take that trend indicator and drive it up just underneath the trend indicator like that to me this is all a buy uh, in this area or a buy on a breakout and the way I would handle that of course is put that on one of my watch lists from LTA, and when I see it start to pop up, then I can look at the chart and make that decision um, if I want to buy it. Now, this is a really good time, okay? I cannot stress this enough. This is a good time. For the person that's sitting in here um, struggling or new, and you're you don't understand or that wasn't as fine-tuned as you think it should be, this is a good time for you to speak up and ask questions, okay? This is a really good time. Um, take advantage of that. That could be the greatest thing today that we look at, okay? Um, hello, Ray. Ray's here. Let's see. Frank, how you doing, Frank? Um, bought this morning. Um, uh, well, we'll look at, we'll look at, uh, MS, MSOS. Um, uh, I'm not going to lie. That doesn't look like my favorite chart. Okay. Um, too many dark candles in there, but outside of that, man, look at that thing start to swing up here. That's absolutely beautiful. Uh, nice trend cooking. That's what I would call a great little trend. Uh, we've got a nice little, um, well, we'll take it from that top over. We've got a nice little breakout here. That's beautiful. So at this point, thanks for sharing that you bought this. At this point, just a matter of managing that trade. So uh, really sweet. Um, again, for those folks that are new, i got to tell you, this is a good time to be asking questions because... Somebody might be saying, well, jeepers, creepers, Frank, why'd you buy it so high? I'll let somebody ask me that. I mean, I'm not going to go into it if there's no interest uh, on this. Um, so, uh, beautiful chart, Frank. I'm going to flag it. Thank you very, very much uh, for that. Uh, looks like it's going up here. Um, I've got a couple of scans over here. Oops, let's see here. Is that a couple questions? Hey, Trader X, added a couple of stocks to the watch list. DVN, thank you. Let's go take a look. DVN, yeah, boy. You know, some of the energy here really rocked uh, Friday, and uh, DVN is one that we mentioned this morning as well. Uh, absolutely to the watch list. And if somebody's buying this, this makes total sense to me. Uh, I think your risk reward is. Uh, fantastic on this. You've got a bullish engulf, and so far you have follow through. So uh, the risk on this to me is the lack of follow through. The lack of follow through would be the low of today, in my personal
personal opinion. Uh, a close over that 50-period moving average, that's one of our rounded bottom breakout setups. That, that's a fantastic chart. And I, I thought I had it on the watch list. I'm going to flag it just in case, though. Uh, thanks, Trader X. Beautiful, beautiful chart. So by me flagging this and putting it on the watch list, uh, what will happen is when it meets my criteria, um, it will alert. And by the way, it's meeting my criteria right now. Okay, this I think this is a, a perfect trade. And if somebody was to say, well, geez, I'm going to wait till it breaks out, that makes perfectly sense to me too. Um, it's so important to have, you know, trade with your rules and, and you know, have – have that protection in there. And this, see, this may be too risky for you because we're just bumped up against, against what might be considered resistance. Um, you know, there's going to be other traders that are even going to look, well, you're not going to trade that till it gets over the uh, this high over here of about 5140. Every trader has their, you know, their little thing they look for, and I, I, I'm so aboard with that. So, um, anyway, I think that's something everybody should do. And what was the other one? ENPH. Let's look at that. That's another one setting up. Um, because it's over the 50 now, this is our rounded bottom breakout. A um, little bit of resistance up here. So um, resistance is just a target for me, and targets are resistance. Um, it, it it, it just it's that way to me a hundred percent of the time um there's that you know special occasion maybe that it's not uh, but um uh, targets are resistance resistance are targets and here we're moving up and you you see this big flat trading right in here that that could cause a little bit of an issue so i'm probably going on this one anyway i'm going to want to see that a little bit of a little bullish attitude a little more and then maybe a little rest in here. But nice chart. Let's flag that. I like that. Thank you. Hey, Rick B. Um, he can do whatever he wants to do. I'm just looking at the chart there, Rick B. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking at the chart. You're talking about that MSOS, I believe. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a bullish chart. Every which way from Sunday in my book. Uh but every trader can do what they, you know, what they might want to do. Um, let's see, RVLV, RVLV. Uh, man, that's, what a, wow. Does that have volume? Yeah, that's a good volume. Um, this is a super nice chart. Um I, yeah, this is a fantastic chart. Um, here we've had this nice long downtrend, and here the trend is starting to change. Um, I, I want to come over here to the dark chart. And you see where the downtrend, let me get my pencil out, make this uh, yellow. There we go. See how this has been in a downtrend? And then you see how it went green red, and then green. Now, I I don't know if everybody here is a believer in the low, high, higher, low, higher, high theory, where that is the tradable bottom. So, you know, in this case, coming from the bottom, here's your rise. There's your rise right here. Uh, here's your pullback, there's your pullback, there's that rise, there's your rise right in here, had a little bit of a dip, and now we're headed up. Um, the lower high and higher low isn't, doesn't always have to be about price, although price did it. I can see it right here in our trendicator. I think that's a gorgeous looking chart. Um, and that's just really starting to work here, I think. And I, I can see it here in that, in what we call our dark chart. Over here, you can see that, that low, the high, the pullback, how it's just 
just working out. And then today, fantastic candle today. The key to this will be uh, holding up over the 50-period moving average uh, today. Now, what I'm going to do is go from this low, and I'm going to I'm going to use those two green dots right there. So this is going to be a big where to go. Oh, here it is over here. Uh, this is going to be a big candidate for me to buy, and I would like to buy it somewhere in this area. Uh, I'm not going to buy it today. I don't usually buy big poppers like this the first day. Not usually, especially when I think the market is questionable. So I think this is a terrific watch list chart. So what I'll do is I'll put it on my watch list. This is very this, this is one of my watch lists here. And um, so when we're done today, what I'll do, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let me do it now just in case it shows up. So let's uh, copy. I've already copied most of those. I'm going to add them to the watch list, and this is what I'm doing in case somebody didn't know. Uh, just adding all these. Which most of them are added. I did that this morning. So there we go. So now we'll get rid of that. So now I'll wait for this to um, alert on the watch list, which today there's absolutely zero chance of me buying it uh, today. But on a nice little pullback, I start to see it work here um, or even work on this one, then um, that may be a big candidate uh, to buy for me. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, MPC popped up here, which it's kind of popped up a couple of times today. And you can see that yesterday. This is this is sort of what that, uh, whatever that stock was, um, start with an R. Um, where you've got that big candle, here's your big candle MPC, and then I want it to set up on the next day. Inside day, I want a little rest, something like that. And you can see MPC is doing that right now and coming up. So I'm going to move this back over here for now. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? Hey, Carly, uh, you're in plug? Let's go look at plug. Uh, okay, plug. Uh, was was three percent up now three percent down I think I just have to be patient what do you think yeah you know I I hear you um, tra traders <laughs> traders can be some of the most impatient people in the world <laughs> I get it I'm I'm one of those and you know we buy something and it even has a good candle has a good chart pattern and we even pop up in the morning a little bit. You know, we just have it in our mind that it should just keep going. I, I get that. That's just not the way trading works. And uh, unfortunately, there are some people that seem to think that that's the way it works, and it doesn't. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big chart pattern trader and a big trend trader. Um, I, I believe that's just the the best thing going. Now, my trend is probably not what the majority of traders do. I do something a little different. Um, I follow these green dots. And for those that don't know, it's just simply the 17 exponential moving average. And why that one, honestly, opposed to another one, I like to be different. I, this is That is so insanely true, it's not even funny. I like to be different. And then what I do is I draw what I want to trade into my 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 setup. So to me this is a perfect setup. And here we are with this little top right in here. So when I look at this chart what I see is not I see the candlesticks, okay? And candlesticks are very important. And I swear by candlesticks, but it's not all about, well, it's not making money today, or, you know, it's not about this candlestick, that candlestick, this one, any one. It's about all of them in this area that make up this chart pattern. So 
Yeah, I'm. I'm a. To, that, that's a long way to get to what you you you're saying there, Carly. Be a little bit patient, because it's still doing exactly what you want it to do. It's still trending, and when it when it's ready, when it's time, it will it will either pop up or sink low, and and that is trading. That is um, that is it in a nutshell. So uh, it, it's important just to, you know, stick with your guns is providing that all your rules are still holding up. Uh, if they, if you, you know, if you're, if some of your, your, your rules or your reasoning for buying, if it starts to fail, then, then that, you know, then it becomes questionable. So, uh, but right now it looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Peri, P-E-R, P-E-R-I. There we go, Peri. So, um, uh, uh, Mark, I, I would I would like to hear your question on this. Okay, um, um, I ask this of everybody when they when they point out a stock like this. Um, I I need to know your question on it. Okay, so please, pretty please, ask your question on this stock, and we'll. We'll definitely come back to it, okay? Uh, Trader X, C. C, another good one. Uh, another good one for the watch list, probably not to buy in my opinion. And, you know, let me stop right there for a second. Because th this is one of these charts that, if you were more of a long-term trader, more of an investor, why couldn't it be a buy right now? It could be. It absolutely could be. Um, for me, it's not because it's been up one, two, three days, so it's not a buy. But for somebody that, that's looking at C and thinking that, you know, down the road, a year, six months, I don't know, two years, whatever, C could be a $69 chart. Buying it on a pullback is not going to make a, a darn bit of difference. So, yeah, if you're looking at that. But if you're looking at trading it, uh, I'm thinking a little bit of rest. Let me give you a little little secret here. Um, and, and this is just kind of one of my little secrets is – well, I think everybody knows I use the trendicator a lot. I use the T-line a lot. I use moving averages a lot. So one of the things I want to do is set my scans up so I'm looking at charts that are a maximum distance from a single moving average. Now, it can be whatever moving average you want. I tend to use the T-line and the trendicator. So on one on I, I, you know, one scan I may have it set up so that I'm a maximum distance of 3% from the um, trendicator. On another scan, it might be 2% distance from the T-line. The differences are the type of scans they are. So, you know, I'm looking at this. We've been up three days. That's a big no-no for a buy to me. We need a rest. Plus, we're over that max distance of 3% to the trinicator. So that's what really helps out on some um, heavy-duty losses uh, when they pull back. Uh, beautiful chart, though, okay? So uh, absolutely a great chart. Um, um, let's see. The mark is a psych Okay. So um, anyway... I think this is a worthwhile chart, but probably not a buy right now, okay? Um, too late to buy D-Dog? Uh, that, that, that is just your trading. And, and no, it's not too late. If you ask me, it's too early to buy D-Dog. Um, uh, you guys all know that when I give my two cents, it's just an opinion, okay? Um I look at this chart, I see sideways, which is good to me. Um, that's a positive thing for me. 
but I also see, let's put this in here. Let's let's do this. Uh, I'm going to do it like that right there. Um, that is positive to me, but I see all this garbage over here, and this makes a difference. And then I see this wick right here, a couple little ones. This one stands out. So let's do this. Let's just duplicate this. There we go. And let's come up here. And I'm going to put that line right there. Now, so you're saying, is it too late to buy it here? The same question could have been asked maybe right here, and I would have given the same answer. Not too late, too early. Because right through here, we could not get past that level. And now that we've had a little time here, while I love the chart pattern, right? Right through here. I love that. Are we going to get through here? And that's a question you've got to ask yourself. The chart is not showing any huge sign of getting through there. Not today. I can't guarantee it's going to get through there. So it's one of those things where if you think it is, it's no. I don't believe you're too late. Make sure you put your stop in there. So for me, when I say too early, we're going to need to break out um, and start a whole new leg. So here's what a new leg would look like. And if buying it early means that much to somebody, then by all means, buy it early. Leg one, that's the resting leg. Give us a breakout. And I mean, it could break out here too. Then it's the next leg that we want to trade, not necessarily through here. But clearly, Today, you can clearly see there's buyers in there. Friday, there was clearly buyers all the way up here. Hope that makes sense. It's, you know, my opinion. My opinion there. Um, okay, we're going to go back to that P-E-R-I. So, the reason I asked, and I... I the reason I ask this, and I do ask this of everybody who posts a chart like this, because what it tells me, uh, and absolutely no disrespect whatsoever, it's not what I mean, but what this tells me is you're probably a rookie trader or a very struggling trader, but not likely a successfully trader, not a successful trader. Again, I don't mean anything bad by it, but this is the kind of chart right here that sucks rookie traders in, and then what happens is this right here. It pulls back, you lose a ton of money, and trading sucks. And it's, you know, it's the world's fault, never your fault. I don't mean you personally. I'm talking about everybody who posts a chart like this. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the market maker's fault. It's the government's fault. It's everybody in the world's fault, uh, but certainly not me as a trader. That's for sure, right? So is it a buy? Me personally? Absolutely not. Not in a hundred years, not in a billion years. But let's go back to, are you an investor? If you're an investor, makes sense to me. If you're an investor and you think it's going up here and it's going to go up there and you know, six months, nine months, ten months, a year break out. And if you think it is, in fact, going to break back, pull back, which your answer should be yes, and then go up and then pull back and go up, well, if that's what you're looking for, it's a buy. But if you're looking to time your trade, and if you are a short-term swing trader, well, that's exactly what you do. You time your trade. You've got a massive shooting star up here right at right at a resistance level. And by the way, this is not a breakout, FYI, until the end of the day, and this candle can close over that line. Now, we're looking at a daily chart, so we have to wait to the end of the day. And if it closes just like this, it's still going to be a shooting star, and that's going to win. But it, we can call it a breakout. Intraday on a daily chart, that is not a breakout. The next thing 
is we've been up one, two, three days plus a big old gap. Unless you like to buy and then get spanked, which some people like spankings. You know, there's nothing wrong with spankings. There's a, there's a time and place for everything. But if you like little spankings before you make money, then, uh, you know, hey, that's okay. Makes sense, Mark? Kind of, sort of. If this is a chart, which it is a chart, that if you say, darn it, I wish I got into this earlier, this is the chart you want on your watch list. So let's go ahead and flag this just like that. And I will not right now put this on my watch list. So now what will happen is when this sets up in my parameter, parameters, like uh, some parameters that I use are um, a, a type of a 3-8 trap, um, a trend, and uh, notice this is, uh, it says D for daily also a 60-minute setup, so I'm combining a daily and a 60-minute setup in the scan uh, to give me a reason to buy it. And if we take a look at backs, let's take a look at that. See, there's backs setting up just how I would want it to set up on the daily. Moving up nice, you've got the nice sideways consolidation. This is this is that type of 3-8 trap. I say type because... I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for in here is below the highest high in the past five days, which is essentially a three trap. Um, and then I mentioned that this is set up on a 60-minute chart also, so you can see that I've got the 60-minute chart set up as well. And that's what I would want for that, whatever that stock was, uh, P-E-R-I, P-E-R-I here. And see, here we are on the hourly pulling back. So I'm going to need to see two things happen, two major things happen. It's going to have to set up on that 60-minute chart, plus it's going to have to set up on the daily chart. And it's a long way from that. Okay. Another thing, let's just go see what it is. If it was bought right now, that means I'm buying a little over 7% away from my, my um, like or dislike line. I, I, th think of the trindicator as your like or dislike. If you're a bull, if you're a bull, you like it when it's above the dots and the dots are green. If you're a bear, you like it when it's below the dots and the dots are red. For both scenarios, there's no way in the world I'm going to buy seven, a little more than seven percent away from my like or dislike line right through here. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for your question. Hey, Dumpling, you're looking at some DKNG. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoops, how did I get DKNG there? Oh, yeah, there it is, DKNG. Um, uh, in an upturn, yeah, that's a nice-looking chart. Uh, wait for a slight pullback. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a beautiful chart. Now, this is a, I think this is a fantastic chart and a candidate for a pullback. Wait for that pullback. Here, let's do this. If we just take this chart and just, you can put your trend line wherever in the world you want to put your trend line. Now, look at all the places that could have been bought on this based on pullbacks. Let's do this. So from from here, here we rise, see the pullback? Here we rise, see the pullback? Rise, pullback, rise, pullback, rise, pullback. What we want is a rise and pullback. That swing in there. Beautiful chart. Now, one thing I want to check is the weekly on this, and I want to bring some attention to this. Because here's the weekly, and, and this is a great-looking chart. You've got the 200 period moving average right here, a uh, little shelf over here on the left. So, it you know is it going to fly like, you know, like a bird right through that line? It could, 
It, it could. I'm probably not going to bet my last dollar on it. I'm probably going to bet on a little bit of consolidation and then work to get through that line. But either way, yes, your pullback, great idea. Great idea. Uh, Trader X, that is why I said, yeah, wait for a pullback, yeah. yeah. Uh, is in you, is in you forming a J-hook? Uh, sure. Yeah, any kind of pullback, by the way, is a J-hook. All that is is continuation pattern. Let's do this. Let's, uh, well, we'll use a, I uh, better use an arrow, and we'll make it blue. There we go. So here you have a rise up, and you have a little bit of a pullback. Yeah, that I mean, that is, I mean, potentially, you know, this is the potential. This is fact. This is fact. This is potential, and that would be a J-hook. Here, that is fact. This is potential. Well, this is fact. This is potential if you're, you know, if this is the last candle you have. And there's your J-hook right there, continuation pattern. Once again, it's just rock with the trend and then wait for the pullbacks. In fact, let me show you this. Um, this is something I'm going to be talking about tomorrow night uh, a little bit in our in our webinar, uh, public webinar that we're going to have, that everybody here is invited to, is the uh, four key charts to consider, uh, I think that's the title of, four key charts to consider before a trade. So... Um, the four key charts I'm gonna I'm gonna write in you down so I don't remember it or so don't don't forget it. There we go. Is gonna be this. And we're gonna start with the spy here. We're on the daily. So in a nutshell, what I want to happen and these are the four key charts I'm gonna look at, is I'm gonna look at the spy. The spy has got to have my back. It's gotta be a winner for me. It can't be a loser. And right now it's not a loser, but it's not a winner. It's kind of a weenie is what it is. It needs to get going. The next chart I'm going to consider is this chart right here. The next chart I'm going to consider is this chart. And what this does is it ties three charts together. So I need these three charts working. This is definitely working. This is working. Nah, the spy is not quite working. Now, the fourth chart that I'm going to tie into this is going to be in you. In you. So when I get all those four charts lined up, that's when I want to make the trade. Now, I'm not saying in you is not a good-looking trade. It is a very good-looking trade right now. And it is potentially a J-hook continuation chart. But in my personal opinion, unless we have the market, and my market happens to be the SPY. Unless we have the SPY in our favor, which we don't have it really against us right now, but we don't really have it in our favor right now, then I want to be a little reluctant on making that trade. Okay, so yes, potential J-hook. Yeah. Anyway, that, maybe that was just a, maybe a, too much, too much right there, I don't know. Uh, let's go back to what chart? This chart? There we go. Okay, let's take a look here. What time is it? I better watch the time. We still have time. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Frank. I pre appreciate that. Uh, Jesser, not quite sure what you're laughing at there, but okay. Uh, let's see, E N. E N C. Sorry, sometimes I get to a. By the time I get to your question, the the um, conversation is over. Or E H uh, C. There we go. E H C. Um, what we were talking about, I've missed out on it. Yeah, that's a that's a fabulous chart. That's the kind of chart that I want to see. Nice, beautiful trend, and. Uh, uh, you got a morning star here. All we need is that follow through now. That's what we need there. That's a great looking chart, Trader X. All righty. 
Anyone have anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? Let's take a look at BKR. BKR is setting up on the daily chart. Uh, we are up here at resistance or a target. Uh, take a look at the hourly chart. It's also setting up uh, a nice uh, three eight trap on the hourly chart. Or in my case, mine are set up below the highest high in the past five days. Um, it, it it's almost the same thing as a three eight trap. It's a little bit it's a little bit of a wider net sometimes, but it's virtually the same thing. Anyway, that's setting up really nice. So, so. All righty. Any other questions? We can call it a day if you want. Um, the spy here has not given us any anything to to get excited about. This was the last candle on Friday. It's going to be important to get above at least for right now. Now that may that may change in a couple of days, but right now it will be important to at least claim 50% of that candle back. And you can see we're nowhere near it. Not even not even remotely close. So, we're going to have to claim that. And that would turn the trend indicator green again, by the way, that hourly chart, okay? So Frank's looking at CSLK. Um little high watch list material watch list material you know um i see some traders uh some traders look for different type of charts while other traders you know look for different type of charts and if you are one of these traders that every time you look at one and it's up multiple candles the odds are it's going to be a good chart. I, I'm going to say that with a little bit of caution, okay? And if that's what you continuously look for, I don't see how you can find buys. So we might want to add another piece to whatever and however you look for them for the resting piece because that's what you want. This looks great right here. And there's the rest that you want to claim that run. Now that that run has ran, we need it to rest. And that's the piece we're missing on this chart. And there's been a couple other charts where that missing piece, okay, um, you are B in. Um, buy the breakout if you want to. I mean, if that's what you do, Robbie. Uh, th that's, uh, th let's do this. Let's go to a weekly chart, okay? The reason I'm going to weekly chart, by the way, is so I can see what's over here on the left with, with ease, not because I'm a weekly chart trader. I'm not. So if you can agree with me, that we're looking for a target of maybe 38, we'll just call it 38, okay? Um, then let's call that good. If you disagree, then then we won't call that good. Let me know what you think the target is, and then we'll go find another target, okay? But for now, until you disagree, let's go with 38. Now let's go back to the daily chart. So if you think that's where it's going, the reality is, you're not the only one, by the way, and you're not the only one buying this early on a breakout. Anyone buying this is probably trying to negotiate an entry in this area. So really, buying right now absolutely is a buy, if that is your thing. If your thing is buying early on and you're dialed in, there's your run, by the way, there's your pullback, there's your buy, well, you're rocking with that already. Um, if you're somebody that that um, looks for this right here, uh, we hold that breakout and then maybe a little bit of an inside day, we'll do it something like this, even a little breakout uh, tomorrow. Somewhere in here, if you're a buyer there. But bottom line, we're all in this area 
of, see if I can get that pretty close, we're all in that area. Now, each individual trader, you have to dial it in for yourself where you're a buyer. Let's back this chart up. Is that a nice chart? Absolutely 110% yes. We've got a nice little breakout here. You can see that trend that's trending. There we go. So now it's just a matter of how are you going to enter it. And you, you've all heard me say this before. The entry is extremely personal, not secretive, just personal. How Robbie enters this, how I enter this, or how Dumpling may enter this is three different ways. So you, you just have to dial it in. And if you, if you don't know how to do that, that's where somebody's got to say, show me how to do that. And I'll be glad to show you how to do that. But I, I'm just not going to talk just to talk to myself. So got to have some, some step up there. Okay, Robbie, wonderful chart. The question is, how are you going to enter it? Um, my view on Roku. Earlier, it was popping up a little bit. Yeah, there we go, popping up. Um, I, my, my, I'm not a Roku trader right now, personally. Um, not personally. Weekly chart, I think it's exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. Um, Entry-wise, it's not my perfect setup. I don't like this wick right here. I don't like that. So let's let's go back to the daily chart or weekly chart, okay? We're entering a rounded bottom breakout on the weekly chart. So let's set our targets based on that. And that's always going to be targets up here, always, 100%. But we know there's going to be targets along the way. And I'm going to go with something about right there. And I'm going to put one right there. And we're going to, yeah, right there. And we're just going to stop right there. Yeah, we'll just stop right there. Here's the daily chart. So there's some targets up here. Now, if I wait for this to clear up here, so let's put that in. So if I wait for this to move over 67, 65 here and stabilize up here, now I still have an 8, 9% trade to that swing high. But more importantly, I you've got a 26% trade up here to about 88. I don't like the entry here. It's just not my, again, entries are extremely personal. Very, very, very personal. Not secretive personal. So I would rather see a little more proof. I think you've got a nice, nice run here. The weekly is superb. And I think we're getting there. But I like my entry up here better. I'm not necessarily going after that swing high. I think I would be looking for this swing high up here. Make sense, my Mike? And Again, if you like it here, I, I can't argue with that. I can't argue at all. It's just not for me. Thank you, Options J. I do appreciate that very much. Great deal. Um, this uh, PLTR, this is one I've been watching over here on the scanner. And uh, take a look at this chart. PLTR. If we can put together a breakout, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not interested in buying it here because this is a horrible chart pattern over here, in my opinion. And uh, I I like the idea of a breakout and then trade from that breakout up. Uh, THC might be one. See, THC might be setting up here, but I'm a little reluctant because of this big, ugly candle. And we'll just put it right there for now. Yeah, about right there. This big ugly candle here and this failure over here. While it is making a nice consolidation box, that's fantastic. But let it break out and then trade the next leg up. Trading that breakout, that's too risky right there, in my personal opinion. So 
let's do this. If I'm going to trade a risky chart, and I think this is a risky chart right here. If I'm going to trade this, I need to put some things in my favor. So let's go to the SPY. Is the SPY in my favor? Not exactly. So that's a big, eh, nope. Is T21, 23, 15 minute in my favor? Yes, it is. Is T21, 23 hourly in my favor? Yes, it is. But here I've got the SPY not in my favor. And then whatever, what what was that chart we were looking at? THC. THC, nice candle. But is the chart really in your favor right here? And I'm going to say no. So how many people here think trading is 100% probabilities? Anybody? Uh, let's see. We got a yes. We got a no. Um, plus sixty percent. Uh, it is Malcolm. Could be. I have. And, and by the way, I don't think there's there's any wrong answer here. Uh, it, it's you know your answer. Your trading. I personally think trading is one hundred percent probabilities. That's what I think. So, for me. I want the probabilities in my favor. My, my, what, what, what I'm looking at here, this is not the almighty. This is not the perfect. It's a perfect for me, but it may not be the perfect for you. And that's okay. That's all right. And I want the probabilities in my favor. I want every advantage that I can find, that I, every advantage that I like. Now, I've picked, I've handpicked my advantages. What do I want as my advantages? I want to look at a chart that's not staring me in the face with a big, fat, bullish, or bearish red candle up here. That's one thing. I, I think that makes sense, you know. Don't, don't, talking about stepping into a, a, a I don't know, a trap. That could be a trap. I want the spy to be in my favor. I want it to be on my side. It is not on my side today. It's not against me today, but it's not on my side today. These two are on my side. That's the probabilities I put together. And when it all lines up, I think you've got a good thing going. So, and again, it's okay if somebody, you know, maybe or no, or there was a 60 percenter there or something like that. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. It's your trading. You have to do what you do. I agree with Trader X there. Yeah, that's one way to say it. It's a game of odds, and you want more odds in your favor. Yeah. Otherwise, you could gamble. Just gamble. Just roll the dice. Who cares about it? If, if, if that's the case, uh, let's see. There you go. Don't put anything on your chart. Who cares? I, I, I'm going to go pick on Roku just to pick on Roku. You know, it, nothing matters. Uh, use a line chart for that matter. Uh, don't use any chart for that matter. Um, here, use this. Use Never mind, not that chart. Use this chart. There we go. Just use that chart. But we put but we have we put together a probability. Anybody that uses MACD, you're adding a prob probability. Anyone who uses stochastics, you're adding a probability. So why not accept that fact and use it to your advantage? Anyone that uses a fifty period moving average or price action or the red and green dots that is a probability that is a tool to be used for probabilities so accept it and use the tools so yeah 
but but and but you have to do what you have to do. Okay, so every trader is different. Every trader is different. Let's see, where are we here, Ray? What is a chart beside the T twenty one twenty three? Uh, they're both T twenty one twenty three. This one right here, this is T twenty one twenty three fifteen minute. This is T twenty one twenty three hourly. If you use TC two thousand, you have these indicators: the T twenty one twenty two and twenty three. <clears throat> I've just added the trend indicator in there. Uh, as my, I like it or dislike it. It's like the trend indicator is green. I like it. Trend indicator is green. I like it. Um, let's come over to this chart and then we'll call it a day. Um, let's come back over here and let's go to this chart. Um, let's get rid of the 50 here. There we go. So, it doesn't matter what time frame you're on. It, it, we can look at different time frames. Uh, here's a Roku. This is the hourly time frame. Man, I'm, I, I love that. It's looking great. Here's the weekly time frame. It's looking good price action wise, but it's not giving me the, you know, a good solid trend yet here. Uh, here's a daily. See how we're. Here's our rally. Here's our pullback. We just need more proof moving up. So, um, anyway. Yeah, I've got it covered up with these. But that's the 15-minute over there. Uh-oh. What's gamed? Game popping up. Let's look at that. Here's the daily chart. Ooh, I'm liking that. Look at that J-hook continuation pattern. Look at that trend. Beautiful. I love that. Now, let's go look at a possible entry, and this is where we look at price. So let's come over here and look there. Nice price. So um, I, I want to – let me go back here, okay? It, 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 this is – this is you can't argue with this. You can't argue with this and ever win. Okay, I'm going to win this hands down. That is bullish. That is bearish. That is bearish. Okay, that is bullish. Don't even please don't even try to argue with me on this. You you won't win. You can't bring enough lunch money to spend the day talking about it. This is bullish. This is what we're going to look at. Now, we, you can see from this big downtrend here, we've broken out, and we're just dancing along to the right. As we get closer to make an entry, this is what we're going to look at. And you can see that we're bullish. So is this a good chart? Absolutely. Now, can price deter us? Yes, price can. But right from the get-go, that's a bullish chart. Now, all it is is putting together an entry. That's it. And you have to know how to do that. I, I take that back. You have to know what you want. So as an example, if you're a 3-8 trap trader, if you're one of those uh, people, which I think that is a perfect, whoops, a perfect entry. Uh, yep, there we go. Then... Wait for a 3 8 trap. Is this a 3 8 trap? No, it is not. Look 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 at this chart right here. Look how this big old bullish candle. Look how we took right off. We went down. Was that a 3 8 trap? Yes. Me, I don't buy on dark candles, so that never would be a buy. Now, this took off. Are some people buying this? Sure they are. Clearly they are. Look at that right there. There's your 3-8 trap. Here's your 3-8 trap right here at the open. Bullish, gap up, perfect. There's your money. That's your money shot. What we need now is to pull back into a 3-8 trap. 
pull back into a 3E trap, and then wait for the next buy signal. Okay, let's look at let's look at this one. CEG, look at CEG. Uh, three eight trap earlier this morning. So why aren't these pointing out three eight traps? Because I don't have mine set to a three eight trap. So let's take this off for a second. I have mine set to below to be below the highest high in the past five days. Day zero, one, two. Well, three, we're below the highest high. And we're 2% from the trendicator. That's the way I have mine set up. So while I'm out of the 3.8 trap, I have decided for me personally, it's better to trade below the highest high in five days on a trending trendicator, a maximum distance from the trendicator. And then I trade the price action or the chart pattern based on my eyes. Make sense? On. Take a look at on. Look at on. Is that a buy? For some people it is. For me it could be. I'm going to need to see the market step up a tad more, which it's trying right now. That makes sense? Anybody? Uh, MTB. Uh, earlier it was set up, uh, but it's now broken out of that of that high there. So a little high now. Okay, let's call this a day. I want to thank everybody for being here. I absolutely 100% appreciate you all being here. Uh, really good comments and, and input and truly, truly appreciate it, okay? You guys take care. Thank you very much. I'll work on getting this recorded, uh, taken care of, care of, so you, it's out there if you want to rewatch it. Take a look at ARC moving up. You know, maybe we better go look at FNGU. That's not quite moving up yet. Uh, Q's mm, hanging in there. All righty. You guys take care. Have a great day. We'll see you all later, okay? Thank you.